Getting ready for the start of the Bobby Ray's Collision 75 at Montgomery Speedway. It's Chuck Carver on the pole with David Kilgore outside. As we take the green flag, David Kilgore will get a jump, but Carver comes back to the inside. Carver gets into the back of Kilgore. Kilgore on his roof. Getting ready for the restart. It's going to be Chuck Shambly now leading with Brian McBrayer in second and Robert Balkum in third. Alan Marshall gets sideways coming off turn two on the second lap to bring out the Knights' first caution. Actually, it's the Knights' second caution. And Chris Ginn brings out yet another caution. Spinning on the back straight away. Chambly still leads with Brian McBrayer second and Matt Vade is now up to the third position for the restart. Breyer slips high in turn two. Vade moves to the second position. And Carver is now up to third. Carver's really working on the back of Vade, but so far has not found a way around him. And Vade goes up the track. Looks like he overdrove the corner pretty bad, and Carver will move under him to take over the second spot. Trouble for John Kenny out of turn four. He loops the truck and brings out another caution. On the restart, it's still Shambly leading, followed by Chuck Carver, Brian McBrayer, and now Louis Robinette is up to fourth. Alan Marshall is in trouble again as he spins it in turn four and slides into the outside wall. Back to green. Still Shambly leading, followed by Chuck Carver. And Vade is under attack by Louis Robinette for the third's position. And Robinette takes over the third position. Whoa, Scotty Formosa is off the track momentarily, but gathers it back up. 
And Robert Bauckham takes a spin coming off turn four, and this appears to trigger a larger incident collecting several other cars. All right, it's still Shambly leading, followed by Carver and Louis Robinette. Steve Looney takes a spin coming off of turn four, turns the truck back around, but the caution flies again. All right, we're getting down to it now. Chambly still leads, followed by Carver, Robinette, and now Scotty Formosa is up to the fourth position. Green flag for the restart. Oh, Ginn gets into the back of Vade and collects John Kenny, several other trucks. Eddie Rayley with heavy damage, heavy engine damage. And that would be with two laps to go. The race would not go back to green, giving Shambly the win.